Good day, everyone. Darkness of the Stars here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, episode... Shit. Um... Five. I'm pretty sure this is five. God damn, my voice cracked. So, anyways, hoping you migrate you to Streamlabs is better and user-friendly. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So, in the last episode, we figured out we... Something up was... Something was up with Sayori. Yeah, this is episode five. Something was up with Sayori, and... Well... We decided that we would help out Yuri with the uh, decorations for the festival. So let's get moving. Especially for Twitch streamers. <laughs> wow, you guys are actually really caught up. Oh shit, it froze. Oh, it just glitched, okay. Yeah, I might check it out after this game. Well, let's get moving. It's already Sunday. I'm getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I kept telling myself there's no reason to be nervous. But it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt. No doubt, yeah. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been, we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. Putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori. Oh shit, I misspelled it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Oh boy. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over! Much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. I have a link for the download on my page, just throwing it out there. Okay, cool. Uh, hey! Again, we used to play so often that we... We've made it a habit of simply entering each other's house like we're family. Well, we technically are. We're like twins. The house is quiet. I'm gonna save. This seems bad. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to come run down and greet me. I heard her in the. I head up to the bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori! Oh, hi, Black Star. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it always been. I always recognize. I also recognize the same stuffed animals as, and wall decorations that she had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. Would we'll never do that. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided at that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparation, right? Uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then? Yep! There's more silence between us. Siori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Siori smiles, shaking her head. That's not good, Blackstar. What? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings... If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. <clears throat> but this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided on you to come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! Grabs Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you even listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you're really just going to make me say it, aren't you? Guess I have no choice this time. Thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Oh. We really are twins. Even I have depression. I feel you there, Sayori. Shit, I think I might cry. 
I got water. I got I got tears starting to come. Hang on. I'm, I'll be good. I'll be good. Woo! Okay. God damn. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's why I feel like... Okay, my depression is not that bad. And that's why I want to make everyone happy, without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me my entire, the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh. Why is it that you've never even told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend and twin. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's so much that I could do. I would have tried a bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to wait effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ooh. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. You're right that I don't understand. I completely understand, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. I do understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. We are going through this together, Sayori. No. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing I could have... That could have helped... Is if everyone... Everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. Finally showed you what a horrible person I am. I wash hungry so I pog champ. Aww. <laughs> Tears streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I want to grab, grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, Black Star. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. Ugh. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Black Star. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her side. She starts so sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Black Star. I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what I what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. Aw, hugs for Sayori. Hugs for her. Come on, hugs and chat. It's okay, Sayori. We'll get through this. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. That really, and that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me to spend it all with you? Um. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I I think that'd be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Where's my vodka? <laughs> oh, man. No, no, no. Don't drink away the sadness. 
laugh the pain away. That that's why I've learned. <laughs> of all days, this has to be one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I really won't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It'd be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. See you tomorrow, okay? Alright. Look forward to it. Bye, Sayori. Say goodbye to Sayori and let exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. Oh, this music's sad. I wish I drank. No, don't drink! Bad! I will slap you! I may be a pacifist, but I will pacifist right through your drinking things. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori was right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, if, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. Tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Hide the, t hide the tears. Yuri, focus on the happiness. <laughs> there we go. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri! Holy shit. God damn, girl. Ah, uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm, s I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. Should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least they hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. Might be a pacifist, but I will pacifist straight through your drink. <laughs> Thank you. I, 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 I try to make puns. <laughs> I get told that one a lot. Just like, you should pacifist to those people's face. <laughs> if they really bug you, I'm like... <laughs> That's against my nature, but whatever. Take Yuri to my room. Oh, shit. Things are getting on. Ooh, double bed. Hey, look, it's a computer. Nice TV. Better than the one I have in my room, which is non-existent. Good books. Better, More books than I have. That looks like my damn closet, I swear. First thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Uh, <laughs> stares at the floor, looking at all the pairs of dirty clothes on the floor. Yeah! Very clean. Mm -hmm. I cleaned it before you came over. No, I didn't. That's pretty considerate of you to do. No. I would be really embarrassed if my room was a mess while you were here. Shit. Totally borrowing, borrowing that. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't copyright it. Copyright trademark. It's mine. But go ahead. You can borrow it all you want. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait. Don't look in there. Snatch you's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer. Uh... I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's it's fine. It's fine. Let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enchantments. Atmosphere, atmospheric enchantments? You know, mood lighting. A Aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. Didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I wanted to help take our guests to a faraway place. Oh, many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? Oh, is that a bad thing? Ah, oh, sorry, I banged Mike. I have an itch in my eye. It's called tears. No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. I'm kind of happy. 
Yeah, no need to be anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for the relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah? Like the what? Let's see. You rummage through the, rummages through the bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. Did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Wow, that would actually be pretty cool. What's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Totally not familiar. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite con contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you use, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it perme permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. That smells wonderful, actually. Really wonderful. I wonder what kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, it's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound pretty suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearing, and clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Ooh, origami! <laughs> yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for, for folding origami. Oh, That ruined the mood. <coughs> God. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh, damn. What will these be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon that hang from the doorway of my classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Ooh, it would be beautiful. It'd also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. It's really creative. I had no idea you are so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is just me or she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a mar here's a marker. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ridge and then Ah, uh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. Carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad hand writing. <laughs> it got me right on the dot right there. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. <sighs> then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Ugh, the knife is strangely beautiful. The silver hand is, has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well, embarrassed Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Oh, you're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. You promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what this is. The combination of craftsmanship is and feeling of danger. Maybe. What am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. Besides, if you really, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Maybe we should go do this in some tents. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. My pun side's coming out. Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Uh, hang on. Uh, no. How does one use this? Yeah. Shit, it's stuck in my wall. Here you go. <laughs> Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. Take it and turn it around into my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? 
Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point in the knife with my index finger. Ow! Wh why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. Barely touched it at all. I it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri uh, takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah, he stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, without warning, Yuri puts my finger in my mouth and licks the wound. Oh! Okay! <laughs> Oh, oh God! <laughs> what? I I cannot read it. Startled, I pull my hand back. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I have done some? How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, uh, sure it's a little weird and took me by surprise. Hold on. I need something. That is so much better. I was getting chills. Ugh. I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this in the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyways. I take Yuri's hand and lick her head. Ugh! Did you really just do that? Now we're even! Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. Not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird. She giggles shyly. <laughs> Ugh. She's calling me weird. I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as the door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Honestly, I think we would all do that. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That would, That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit with of watercolor paint tablets. Oh, watercolor. That's fun. I actually did some watercoloring. Uh, here, let's see. It was one of my art classes. You guys know I'm in the Pokemon, I'm sure. Uh, God, what was my best watercolor I have? What the hell is that one? Um, that, was that, one? yeah, that, that's watercolor, that's probably the best one I have. You guys know I'm in the Pokemon. This is probably the best one I got, about the False Prophet, uh, Flareon. What do you guys think? Please let me know, I kind of am curious. We'll need about six cups of water to put each in the tablet, it's in. There we go, showing it off a little. Find where it was, it was in front of the black QRM. There we go. Go back, False Prophet. Nobody wants you right now. We're not playing Pokemon. Go back. We'll grab you some other time. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too dilated. Yeah, that's true. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. Put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then brings it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? Coming to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeves, pulling it back over her arms. She didn't do it! Ah, uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, she did not roll up her sleeves! No, not at all. 
There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cup. So, so, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint the gradient, a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for a surprise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Neat. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on the banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. What? It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I, I don't mind that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself, For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you understand. Yuri leans over the banner and grabs it unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kah! Sorry! Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my hand in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's, it's not your fault. Your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. There's something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. <laughs> Sorry, it's totally my fault. I get a towel right away. Rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to her room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. God damn. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Something wrong? Hot. I just didn't expect it. So sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer feels really nice. Uh, keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze and felt by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Has the aroma of the jasmine oil given me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrap around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arm. Suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah, uh, really slowly pulls a slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I mean to space out. It's fine, Yuri. The moment is over as soon as it begins. Yuri picks up her brush. Oh, is it just me or did that closet move? Anybody else see that? Please tell me if you saw that, because I swear I was looking at the text and I see like the closet just go a little. She pricks up her brush again, but her movement seems clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore that the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish feeling the night sky with light dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add to the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true. But won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and have you bring it in the morning. I could do the lettering in the classroom before the event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> You say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Oh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. 
I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work, because, you know, to get it on. <laughs> Alright! Giggy giggity, giggity goo. Well, you thinks to herself, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. Probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean like it's... Doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I'll walk her out of the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. Guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we don't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want. You can come over, or I can, or we can go out somewhere. Uh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyways, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful. Yuri takes a step closer to me. I then briefly squeezes my hand. Ow! Oh my god! Kinda like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? I don't even get the chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori! Uh. Uh, hi, Blackstar! Sayori! Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so so that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and she's gone. See, I'd offer to get or cook food for her and I, but this character you play isn't bright. Definitely! Invite her over for dinner! Take her on a date. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Huh. Well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come over and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her it makes me really happy that you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's faith. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like that my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Oh my god, excuse me. Everything hurts so much. It'd be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. Ah! You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori. What well, I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And... and... Sayori, that's enough. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slid my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Do you trust me? <laughs> Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Oh my god, we are going to save! Ooh. Mm. Ugh. Oh man, this is hard. Oh no. I'm sorry. 
I still see her as like a twin. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back the way they were. I, I see. Sylvia so forced to smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> is that what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there was no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I can get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You also have right that I just wanted to go, it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, Sayori's smile, smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams out loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Wink, wink, wink. Fuck. I will quote Lincoln Park. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. Siori looks over her shoulders and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Shit. Siori! I'm left hopelessly standing at the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. Most I could... I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is, even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Ugh. It's the day of the festival. You know what? gonna save here and end the youtube episode right now thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed it why not hit the like button down over there and if you're new why not subscribe as well thank you all and i'll see you in the next episode Bye bye